Let's give it up for Danielle Walker. Hello, everybody. Hello. Um, it's nice to be here. Uh, my name is Danielle, and um, I'm originally from Townsville. Um, I don't know if you guys know that about me. Oh, few of you in. Well, 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 you're going to like this. Um, I'm basically going to talk about how all our families are psycho for a little bit. <laughs> So cheers. <laughs> um, I do, I love going home to visit my family because my family are psycho um, and they always do something fun that I wasn't expecting them to do. You know, like I went home for Christmas, this past Christmas, and um, my mum, when I got home New, uh, Christmas Eve, she goes, hey, Danielle, go over and have a look at Noel's phone, go have a look at his screensaver, go see what it is. Um, and Noel's my mum's partner, and I go over and I have a look at his screensaver and I see what he does, uh, what it is, and this is his screensaver. Now, I don't know if you know what that is, um, but what that is, is that's my mum's face merged with a sunset. <laughs> and I, I laughed when I saw that. And Noel said, what's so funny? And I said, that's mum's face merged with a sunset. <laughs> And then he said, I don't get it. <laughs> and I said, oh, you know, it just looks like something, you know, you'd show at the end of a funeral or something. <laughs> <laughs> and then Noel said, I guess I just don't get comedy then. <laughs> you know, and stormed off for an angry swim at the neighbours. And then my mum, she said, oh, sorry about that. Sorry about him. Sorry about Noel. Sorry he got so defensive. Oh, it's just that, oh, can you see the big present underneath the tree over there? Yeah, I think he got it printed up real big for me for Christmas. <laughs> and she was right. That's a three. <laughs> yeah. That's not even the best Christmas. The best one ever happened uh, a few years ago um, when I went home for Christmas and I was hanging out with my granddad and um, I'm obsessed with my granddad. I love him so much. And um, I went to the toilet and then afterwards I, um, I went to the bathroom to wash my hands because I'm clean. Yep. And uh, then when I was in the bathroom, I saw the best thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, and what it was is my granddad, he's deaf because he's got tinnitus from shooting heaps of shit. <laughs> and um, he kept forgetting to take his hearing aids out before he'd go for a shower. And so my nana said, all right, Baz, what you want to do is just go write yourself a little note and then just go pop it up somewhere in the shower. Um, just so that'll remind you, you know, to take your hearing aids out before you hop in. And then what my granddad did was he just sort of interpreted that information. Um, and then what he did was this. <laughs> yeah, that's permanent marker. <laughs> Well, so you guys got the context for that before you saw it. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> oh, anyway, um, um, this next bit's about consent. Um, you you okay with that? Yeah. All right. Good. Um, I thought I'd illustrate consent for everybody because sometimes people, they don't get it. Um, and so I thought the best way to do that would be to, uh, to use horses and jockeys. Um, and so that's what I've done. Um, and uh, this is the first one. Um, and as you can see, that is, that is bad consent. Because um, in that, that is just a man flogging a horse, you know? That's not good consent. Um, unlike in this next one, this next one is good consent. Because um, in this next one, the horse is saying, flog me, boy! <laughs> Yeah. 
And the jockey, he's saying, of course, sir. <laughs> now that's consent. You know, with consent, you should really check in with one another. Um, so in this next one, the jockey, he's saying, is this okay? You know, and the horse is saying, it hurts, but in a good way. <laughs> yeah, so again, great consent. <laughs> Um, this next one, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, no, no, no. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> still, still all right? Yeah, okay. Um, also, I don't know if you guys know this, um, but if somebody's under the influence of, of drugs or alcohol, they can't, they can't really consent properly. Um, so in this next one, I'm um, the horse, you know, he's just had like a little bit of heroin. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit of heroin, heroin, some pills, some wine and a spliff. Um, and that up the top there, that's just the chemical makeup for THC. Because um, I'm smart. <laughs> nah, oh, I did Google that. Um, and again in this one, the horse is saying, flog me boy. You know, um, but this time, the horse, he's saying, no, you've had too much drugs and alcohol, sea biscuit. <laughs> it was sea biscuit all along. <laughs> no, in comedy, we call that a pullback and reveal. <laughs> You're welcome. Little peek behind the curtains there for you. Um, it also shows that you can be famous in a, in a position of power, but it doesn't mean anything. You know, you can also have things go wrong or right. Um, <laughs> um, and this next one's the last one, and it's not really about consent, it, it's just a thing you shouldn't do, so. <laughs> no, you can't dig a horse. <laughs> Now, when I, when I do these, when I draw these, um, I sit down and I craft them at home on the computer and then I print them out and I, I perform them in the lounge room in front of my partner and I ask him for feedback. And um, this one, it, it used to have a straight dick. It didn't used to have the bend in it. Yeah. Because I performed the whole thing, you know, all the way through and I, I said, oh, you can't dig a horse, okay. <laughs> is this bit as funny as it could possibly be? And he said, yeah, it's pretty funny, but I reckon you need a little bend in the dick. <laughs> and he's right. <laughs> it's way funnier. <laughs> That's me for tonight, guys. Thank you. Yeah.